Wallingford, in the shadow of the castle. Matilda's faction, commanded by her son Henry, proved it was still willing to fight King Stephen for the crown. But after 15 years of conflict, both sides had had enough. So, they made a deal. Matilda would surrender her claim to the throne on condition that when Stephen died, her eldest living son Henry would succeed him. A year later, he was crowned King Henry II and proceeded to grow the kingdom into the mighty Angevin Empire. But once again, what the king had spent his life building, his own children were destined to destroy. King Henry II had four surviving legitimate sons, and he planned to divide up his kingdom between them. But they fought bitterly for dominance. Against the odds, Henry's youngest son, John, became king. But King John was deeply unpopular. He lost huge swathes of the Angevin Empire gained by his father, then failed to reclaim them in expensive battles. Paid for by taxing his subjects. Eventually, England's barons could take it no more. They forced John to agree to a charter that restricted his power. The Magna Carta. But he went against his word. Furious, they rebelled, inviting Prince Louis of France to invade England. In 1216, Louis sailed to Dover and set his sights on taking this. Dover Castle. Held by forces loyal to King John, it was commanded by Hubert de Burr. He described the castle as the key to England. He was right. If it fell to the French, so would the kingdom.
Asked to invade by the rebel barons, Prince Louis's French army launched an assault on the castle at Dover. Opening a crack in the outer defenses, the invading forces charged the castle walls. The garrison at Dover would meet the French with clenched fists and an iron will. Dover could not fall. Commander Hubert de Burr rallied his men to hold back the French and defend the castle. While the castle's garrison thwarted the first French attack and prepared for a second, a new resistance force was building in the English countryside. A skilled bowman and fierce patriot, known as Willikin of the Weald, began to muster a resistance to the French invasion. Determined to keep the crown in King John's hands, Willikin would rally every available archer to the cause. What needeth be undone? Ha 
Java that he built and... Be safe to work, Cap. Yet to be ready for his... All is with... Be safe to work, Cap. Kill Harry that he build in a knot. What needeth be undone? God swinker that be me. With his bowmen assembled, Willikin planned to ambush the French siege engines on their way to the enemy camp. Going to bend, they know. See they to work at. Balding done. Hit Yare to done some worker. Build end day that reach a new. God. What needeth be undone? And seal ye building thing. See they to work, eh? See they to work, eh? Take a that he build on and on. Well, where then? At the ten day shop, our way. See they to work, eh? to don some work. Yeah, right to don some work. You can build it that for that.
build end day that three to noon. What day did we on dog? Some French reinforcements made it to their siege camp, adding more numbers to their next attack on the castle. What needeth be undone? It is Sita for act. It's live to hear it. No, Tulkes, set at ya, certes. Y'all be at the ready, Frickus. See they to work.
Paris. Each Holloway Hester's. Bolstered by the addition of their reinforcements, the French committed the full force of their army to a second assault on the castle. With Willikin's archers weakening the siege from outside the castle, the garrison at Dover repelled the French attack. Willikin ordered his archers to resume their strikes on the French reinforcements. Leaderess is ready for Estes.
to worker. It killed Bill Day that for me.
Look at your be the ready, Frekis. It is Sita for Actus. Reinforced by their new arrivals, the French army was at full strength. Dover braced for a full-scale attack. The hardy English garrison held fast, refusing to let the castle fall to the French invaders. Willikin rallied his archers to continue strikes on the weakening French. Hestes cometh.
Yeah, that's the sewers they had to. Dress at the hour, we can do. Has this comment, Arwen, and step to it, Arwen. And brace it yourself, swap ahead. A great as for Hester, Alunganu, Ferret. Hester is an on, boy, very sleepily on the spirits. Quar of Sir, Chabemi Bow, Verende. Attend at no, Tolkas. Beoth Kerta, we are in fourth gang end. This yard. Duce is none more dead. No Hester's add on. Fuse to serve. All a Kenita's yard. All a swift. Set it young. Freckers, intendeth new. Clone, this is a Mikkel mat for an end day mid May. Hester's for us. It's me, Hester. Ferris.
It is Sita for Ishalle. The combined grit of the English garrison and Willikin's surprise attacks ensured that Dover hadn't fallen yet. Now the English prepared to repel the final French assault. Yeah, 
The tenacity of Hubert de Burr's loyal soldiers forced Prince Louis and the rebel barons to abandon their siege at Dover. And thanks to the efforts of Willikens' fearless archers, England remained in King John's hands. <laughs>